Sullivan Real Talk, this is Randy Sullivan, and today we're going to be reviewing a new product called the Great American Whiskey Challenge. Chris Casperson, who is a viewer of the podcast, reached out to me and said, hey, I've come up with this new product to help individuals blind taste themselves. And I was like, all right, I'm interested. And so he sent over some examples for us to see. We're going to check it out and see how it all works. Now, there's two different products. The uh, one product is the one that we have laid out here in front of us. Um, and it is for one individual to be able to blind themselves. There is a second larger kit, which is over here, that has everything that the small kit has in it but it's all doubled up, plus it has some sample Boston rounds so that this could be done mobily with two different people. Uh, very exciting, and if you stick around through the end, I'm gonna tell you how to enter to win this free kit. Um, so first off, let's talk about how the whole system is set up. Um, it, it comes with instructions on this podium and the podium has uh, three spots where you're supposed to put your glasses. And the way that all of this stuff works is it is a, a single blind. So if you're in the medical world, I understand that double blind and single blind mean that some people have information that other people don't have and all that. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about in tastings, a single blind is when the person tasting can see which bottles could possibly be in each glass. A double blind is when the, the glasses are poured and you have no idea what bottle the liquid came out of, okay? So this is for a single blind challenge and each one of the glasses has a letter, A, B, or C, on the underneath side. And the important part is that when you're looking down into the glass, you don't know which is A, B, or C. Uh, along with the kit comes these little uh, neck tags that are correspond to the A, B, and C. And I uh, have been wanting to blind myself on my whiskey, the Prideful Goat 15 year, to see which one I preferred of batch one, two, or three. Uh, so I figured what better uh, time than to check this out. So what we're going to do is you take one of your letters and you select a bottle. So we're gonna make this one, uh, which is, actually let's do it in the reverse because that's gonna bother my OCD. All right, so we're gonna make um, a batch one of the Prideful Goat 15. You take your glass A, now that your bottle is labeled, and you are going to pour. There is a pour line on here, um, but when I do tastings, I don't need that much uh, whiskey to do my selection. So I'm gonna pour a little lighter than that. So that is A, then we're gonna make batch two B. That's labeled. And you want to try and pour a roughly equal amount in each glass because you don't want your memory of how much you poured to affect what you think is what because they need to be pretty close. We killed that one. All right. And then we're going to make C, batch three. We're going to pour that into glass C. And the reason why all of this stuff works, those are close enough that I won't be able to distinguish them, is because you can move these glasses around and not know which is what letter. I'm already confused. I don't know which is which already. So once you've moved them around you and you don't know which is which, now you can blind yourself. And that's how this whole thing works. So we're gonna move the podium out here. We're gonna pull these glasses in. And now I'm gonna taste them. I did leave out that they come with these handy dandy little charts. And the good thing about these is that one, they are double-sided so that you can reuse them. And there are three rounds on each side. And what you're supposed to do is taste the glasses, guess which one, you, you gotta rank them, what's your favorite, what's your second favorite, and what's your third. And then you have to put down here what your guesses were. And the way that you can turn this into a game is you get a point for each correct guess. Um, and so if you are playing with somebody else, especially if you got the larger kit and you guys make it a game, you could make it an actual competition to see who has the most points at the end of your tasting rounds. Uh, so I find that pretty interesting. So now that we've got this, I'm going to start to nose and taste my glasses. 
and see if I can pick what is one, two, and three for me. Now I do recommend whenever you're doing a tasting like this that you not always taste the glasses in the same order. I see people sometimes, they'll go from left to right, left to right, left to right. And that means that one's always influencing two and two's always influencing three. And so as you switch around between the glasses, I recommend that you change the order up. Okay, so I'm done with my rankings. Now I'm gonna write down what I had. So uh, my winner, I suspect, is batch one. I think my second is batch three. And I think my third is batch two based on past experiences. So now we get to do the reveal. So I'm going to look under glass one and it is A. I guess that A was batch one and I was in fact correct. A was batch one, so I get a point for that. Two was C, which means that uh, I put, let's see, batch three, C was in fact batch three. No one's gonna believe this because I went three for three. Um, I have to admit that if I did this again, <laughs> I'd probably get it wrong. Um, I would love everyone to believe that my palate's so sophisticated that I can easily tell the difference between my different batch releases on my Prifle Goat 15, uh, but they are actually so similar, it's a miracle that I got that correct. Uh, but the, the way I was able to do it is uh, batch one had a little bit uh, more rice spice uh, on the finish for me. Batch two was just sweet up front with less uh, rice spice and batch three was a good combination of the both. So um, anyways, so that's how this whole system works. I was able to go three out of three. If you were doing this with a friend, they would also have a score. You would total up your scores at the end of your tasting rounds and whoever has the most points wins. Fun, it's a great way for you to be able to blind yourself. And um, you know, all in all, the quality looks to be amazing. Um, so if you are interested in entering, as long as it is still open on this video in the description section, you will be able to click on a link and fill out a web form to enter your name into a randomizer. Uh, whenever I close it, I'll remove the link and I'll state that the, the free opportunity is closed. And then I will go over to the community that we have for this podcast, Bourbon Real Talk community, and I will do a Facebook Live with all of the names that have entered. I'll ra randomize it, announce the winner, and I will reach out to you so that you can get your free kit. But all in all, great experience, great product, high quality. So if you're interested in something like this, I recommend that you go on out to greatwhiskeychallenge.com and check it out. And as always, if you woke up this morning and you're unsure whether or not anyone loved you, just know that I love you. And I'll see you next time on Bourbon Real Talk. <laughs>